Hey, it's Eddie and welcome to another edition of Stuff and Things. Today we're going to talk about geology and excavations. Yes, this is an exciting and fun subject. So originally the footers I was supposed to do for the large part of the wall, the tallest portion that's close to the dome, that footing was going to be two feet thick, about 15 feet deep with a four foot keyway at the back side of it. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out that way and here's why. The footing needs to be embedded and on top of solid rock. We didn't have solid rock until we dug down almost eight feet. Since it has to be embedded at least two feet into the solid rock, our footing now went from two foot thick to 10 feet thick. Because it's now 10 feet thick, the keyway in the back had to be also made deeper, so now the keyway in the back is now 12 feet deep. Um, what does this mean? It means I'm gonna use a boatload of more concrete and steel. Uh, it's the exact same problem I had on the opposite side. Basically what's happened in this particular geology here is that the back of the house at grade is on solid rock, but the rock slopes down. And the farther towards the south that we go, the deeper the rock is, which is why we had to dig so deep to get to it. Um, this is one of the things that, depending on where you're building, you may run into, you may not. I can't build on top of compacted fill towards the front of the house because the back of the house is on solid rock. If you're on solid rock in one portion, you gotta be on solid rock throughout the whole thing. The way the geologist explained it is if you have two different substrates, basically they'll settle at different rates and you'll have a problem with the house potentially cracking and failing and structurally failing. One of my neighbors whose house burnt to the ground who's now rebuilding and building one of these is not in solid rock. He's actually building on uh, right in the soil that he's got, but he's got good solid firm soil and he's not on rock. So it's one of those things that, you know, it's just gonna end up adding a chunk more money to the to the build and it is what it is. And at this point, you gotta do what you gotta do. But um, yeah, let me let me show you some of the uh, the depth of this thing. <clears throat> now, one thing you may have noticed is that the keyway and footers are much deeper in the front than they are towards the back where the blue tarp is back over in there and the reason for that simply put is this the wall in the front is much taller the wall starts at 23 feet high and goes to the top of the dome whereas in the back of the house that wall is only about nine feet high so that's why the footer gets bigger towards the front but yeah this is a pretty big massive hole like i said it's the same thing we had to deal with on the other side um, fortunately, I think we can probably use the same engineering that we used on the other side because they had to re-engineer the footers over there. And since this is very similar, I suspect that the engineer is going to say, yeah, you can use the same plan. So that'll be nice because I won't have to spend the money to re-engineer everything. It's basically the same depth that I had to deal with over there. Same situation with the keyways. So, you know, he's coming tomorrow and uh, I'll keep my fingers crossed that hopefully uh, he's going to tell me what... I want to hear but the geologist just signed off on this we have the proper embedment in the rock we have to be two feet into the rock which we have all the way around this whole thing and um so onwards and upwards yay